Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the sold out color on your Shopify store. And I'm not talking just about the text of the sold out, I will show you both actually. Uh, the sold out text that shows up on the right of the text then I will show you actually the add to cart button that says sold out so I will show you how to change the color for both the whole button then the text that shows up on the or next to the price as it said so whatever if you are looking to how to change the sold out text color or how to change the sold out button color uh, this video will actually work for you for both and this trick will work for every team not just the down team the team that I'm using right now and just this one that you see right now is actually down team and by the way this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials and tricks on and you see in here the transparent header right here I just made a video about this and this is transparent header and as well as the video banner I did make that video how to add the video banner with the button and so on and this transparent header the video is playing underneath it as you can see and it looks really good and I did make a video I just posted like a three days ago two days ago I just posted a video on how to create a transparent header just like this one and even if you're scrolling down it stays transparent as you can see and the best thing about this rake it works for every team in my video I did demonstration for two teams the refresh team and the down team and that's the only ones I did find on my Shopify store or Shopify dashboard uh, I can't make uh, examples or demonstrations for every team that would make a video an hour long and here I am again getting drifted from the subject of this video which is changing the sold out color as well as the button and let me uh, access a product from here that's actually sold out to, to see what I'm talking about and even as I said every everything in the Shopify store I did make tutorials on on how to make them for example uh, I see the color swatches with the pictures for the variants in here I did make a video on how to add these as well and let me access as I said a product page from here that's actually sold out and here is this product is sold out so let's just access it and here we go as you can see in here it says sold out on the right of the price and in my video as I said I will show you how to change the color for this sold out as well as the whole button in here which is the add to cart that says sold out and no they don't have the same trick so no worries uh, even if you only want to change the color of this you will be able to do so and vice versa if you only want to change the color of this sold out you will be able to do so so it's not required to change both at the same time you can change one of these and keep the other the same as the original one so as I said I will show you how to change the color for this sold out button right here as well as the text in here and you can customize the color however you want uh, in my demonstration or in my example I think I did set the color as red I can't remember we will see we will see in a second so without any more talking let's just get to it but before we start please this video help you up help me up pressing that like button I would really appreciate it and let's just get to it so let's just access the Shopify dashboard obviously then the next thing you're going to do is click on online store from here and after that you will click on the three dots on the left of customize right here simply click on it and then click on edit code right here and it will show you the code editor for your Shopify team and the next thing you're going to do is access this assets folder right here you will see it at the bottom of the page simply access the assets folder and you will see a bunch of files then you will need to access the base.css and this is actually maybe change depends on the team that are you are using so either access base.css or team.css but I think most of the teams nowadays they use base.css so just like I said either base.css or team.css so in my case it's base.css and yes I said CSS too many times I apologize so let's just click on base.css and it will show us the code in here then after that scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page let me drag this down and let's just access the end of the file in here as you can see and after you did access the bottom of the file simply click on the last line in here then scroll down the description box and you will see a code name it as changing the text color and I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to put the, directly the code in the description box or I'm going to put a link for it either ways make sure you do access changing color text code and as I said either you will find the code directly or a link and simply copy the code 
then paste it in here at the end of the file as you can see so this is the code that we're going to set or change the sold out text with it and this is for the text not the, actually the button next i'm going to show you how to change the color for the button so let's just save this and let's just get back to the shopify store and see if it's actually working or not and after the changes were saved let's just get back to product page and see and no worries i will show you how to change the color because as i said the color i did set it for the red i think so let, let me check right now so let's just here is the text by the way as you can see it's black so let's just reload the page and see if it will change or not and here we go as you can see it did change this is i think purple or pink i'm not sure anyway so in order to change the color for example because i did set it for to purple i think or pink anyway so if you want to change the color for this to any color you want uh, in the code you will see a hex code as you can see and this hex code is actually a color so let me let me show you that so let's just access google search engine then type in hex code uh, hex color sorry uh, picker just like you see on the screen and you will see this widget right here directly in the search bar you don't have to access any website and you can set any color you want for example let's just go for blue for example so this is blue and here is a hex color in here so let's just copy the color and get back in here and let's just select the hex code and remove it and paste in the new hex code which is set for blue and let me save that and see if it will work or not the changes will save it let's just get back in here right now it's purple actually let's just reload the page and see and here we go as you can see it did change to blue so that's how you change the color to any color you want and next let me show you how to change the sold out the whole button in here so it will be displayed in red or whatever color you want because this is really important for example it doesn't look that great but if it's red or blue and especially if you did change the sold out to coming soon and yes i did show that in a video actually just the video i did uh, post right now is about how to change the sold out to coming soon so instead of customer scenes sold out in here you can actually change it to coming soon and change the button color to red or any standout color so you can actually see it so you will see that the product is actually coming back not completely sold out and not available anymore and the changing the color for this will actually work very well because the customer will actually see it not like this the same as the background so let me show you how to change the color for the whole button in here and in order to do so we need to access again the code editor so let's just access the code editor in here and let's just close base.css because we do not need it anymore but instead in order to change the the whole button color uh, click on team.liquid in here and if you don't see it in here simply search in the search bar for team.liquid and i do see it in here so let's just it should be it should be right here so let's just click on team.liquid then let's just scroll down to the bottom page and you will see uh, forward slash dot body right here as you can see so this is the section that you need to find and if you cannot find it simply click on Control f if you are on windows or if you are on mac just like me click on command f and you will see a prompt right here let me show you that here it is so simply uh, type in uh, forward slash body and here is it's highlighted on text as you can see and you can go to it directly so before forward slash body as i said before not after above forward slash body let's just access a new line so in here we will paste in a code and where you're gonna find that code obviously in the description box so just scroll down the description box and you will see a code name it as changing the color for the button changing as i repeat changing the color for the button and i'm not sure again if i'm gonna put directly the code or a link to it either way you will find it in the description box so simply copy the code then paste it in here and again make sure you do paste it above forward slash body this is really important otherwise it will not work so let's just paste it in here and here is as you can see this is the code right here it's really short like four lines and as i said make sure you do paste it above forward slash body and let's just save the changes in here and let's get back to the product page and see if it will works or not so let's just get back in here and here it is as you can see the color for this is the same as the background and it should change right now after i reload the page so let's just check out that and here it is as you can see it did change to red because i did set it to red which is the hex color right here and you can do the same to change the color in here 
by simply accessing the hex color code picker and you can set it to any color let's just go for blue again actually and let's just pass the code for it in here and replace it with this one and click on save and right now let's just reload it and should change to blue again same as the text in here so let's just reload the page and here we go as you can see and obviously the text will not be really stand out for the sold out as you can see because it's really close to the background that's why so play around with the colors to see which one fits perfectly and as i said if you are interested in how to change the sold out to coming soon make sure to check out my channel i did make that video and it's really easy and straightforward but for now that's how you change the color for sold out both the text in here as you can see as well as the button which is a to cart button that says sold out and right for now i think my job is done so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think i'm finished here so thanks for watching catch you on the next one <music>